we develop model solving real world problems. So since 2012, which is about 12 years ago, you know, the system started to really working because deep learning is really amazing in terms of finding a solution as long as you have enough training data with labels, you have enough GPU resources, you can train a model, eventually solve the problems. So it's certainly a real kind of value of AI systems that can help the society. People might think that AI can solve anything. AI can replace people very quickly in the next year or two, you know, no one will find a job, every single job will be done by AI systems. We also believe that's not true. AI is hopeful, can help us to solve many problems, but AI also having lots of problems. They are not just, you know, ready to be used in any, in any situations. And for example, just mention a few, you know, problems with the existing AI systems. Number one is that AI system has bias, right? Which we know no one loves it. Everyone likes to be, to have a more inclusive, you know, environment. Any system that's biased, people have concerns. Number two, AI system is vulnerable. Its, it's security is concerning. Lots of AI systems will be easily be attacked by different adversary attacks. So therefore, you know, it can fail in a miserable ways. That kind of thing should be prevented. That's the second issue. The third issue is that right now AI consuming too much power, right? It's not a green technology. If everyone using AI systems, I mean, we are going to have, have big issues in terms of power consumptions. For people kind of working in the field, some of the misconceptions can be that AI might be very easy to solve. They feel that as long as I have some data, I apply deep learning model to the data, train my model, I will solve the problems. But in reality, it's not that simple. Uh, why? For example, the data is only a subset of what real-world data would be, right? So therefore, if your model is training on this very small subset, it's not going to handle very well for the real-world situation because real-world data distribution is much wider. You will see a lot of outlier or long-tail distributions that cannot be handled by your models. Right now, the current AI system is only able to do very dedicated, specific task. But if you want to ask the AI model to have the intelligence of, let's say, five-year-old kids, seven-year-old kids, having a common understanding, common sense, for example, that's actually a lot, a lot harder. And we should have a correct perspective on how AI is developing.